Hello and welcome to the other waters. Start a new game. And let's wait for it to load, apparently. Okay, I see that. Yes, yes, everything's clear. Everything's fine. Oof. Covering last known log. Log recovery dated 2189. There ain't any time left. This is going to be more restrictive than you are used to. But you are resourceful, I know you. I'm sorry, Oki, but I can't find them. I can lose everything we achieved here. Here is the user disconnected. Continue, good. Hello, is someone there? This is Dr. Ellery Vass. I urgently need all the systems of this suit activating. I've been locked out and I'm 20 meters below the surface here. I say again, this is Dr. Ellery Vass. Can any operator person us on this suit please respond? Yes. Alright, good. Operator activate all systems. Pilot authorization granted. Okay, utilities available. Let's see. Sampling, sample storage, terminal and retrieval seems to be installed. Power. The power panel is activating. Plenty of juice. Oxygen panel is up and rebreather functioning. I'm off reserve oxygen now. I'm seeing the heading panel coming online. Excellent. Okay, good. The dive panel is active. Current reading of 20 meters. Scan and topography readouts coming through. Looking good. You. Don't seem to know what you're doing. You're not an operator, are you? Then what are you? Why are you installed in this suit? Help me out here. I knew there was something strange about this suit when I got inside. It looks decades old. Look, we don't have time for this, so whatever program or system you are, I need you to work with me. You seem to respond to voice commands, so let's start. I... we need to head north. I'll explain once we get going, but right now I'm locked out of half the systems of this suit. Someone, somehow, has rewritten the permissions to only respond to internal messaging. That means you. So I'm going to need you to take control. Let's get moving. Take me north into the reef. Please. So let's zoom in, let's zoom out. That will be no Fish. Southern gully. Steep rocks walls rise up towards the surface on either side. The floor is layered with pale sand. 
that far clear. Let's move. Good. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Let's keep heading north. Narrow pass. A boulder fills the passage, blocking out the warm light of Glee's clear 667. This is three stars. Vector clear. Gully opening. Here the passage opens out, back into the dapple light of the reef's shallow. Shows. What's up? Soft currents. The softly flowing water is filled with glittering particles of organic matter. Signs of rich and thriving life all around. Look, in the water, are those spores? And those stalks to the west, they look like huge fungi. This is unbelievable. Actual alien life. How could Mina have kept this place a secret? I saw her nose at the base when I landed and some telltale sign on approach. But here it is. The first extraterrestrial life humanity has ever discovered. I can't believe it. Strange talk. That's of those of these creatures called the pale rocks. Are these plants or animals? They are unlikely any air of crawl or sponge. What were those creatures? They were hidden among the stalks. Quickly, try to get a scan. Scan? Like this. Bed of stalks, fungal creature made up of a series of stalks and plates attached to the rock. Color ranges from dark amber to acid yellow. These stalks are beautiful. I wonder how they feed, how they grow, how they communicate. This place, this planet, needs to be studied. Keep scanning creatures and I'll keep notes. Once we've gathered enough data, I can name and log each specimen species. No matter what happens here, this is vital work. Agile creatures, stripped, strapped with luminous colors, these flexible flapping creatures move rapidly through the water with little effort. So such lively creatures and so colorful too. I'll start logging my observations. The cre this creature's external membrane appears to be made of layers of kitten, like earth, anthropods, or fungi. A drug creature appeared to maneuver with a series of siphon jets concealed beneath their folded mantles. They are incredibly fast. I'm seeing a complex pattern of contracting and expanding slits in the stalk's membrane. Mouths or sensing organs? Stopwatch. The stalks here are furred with spores which appear to have drifted down from the northern parts of the reef. Southern Nursery. Nursery. These colonies are producing a shifting hum. Perhaps it is a form of communication between individuals. Stockwatch. Among these four clocked stalks, stalks are piles of small stones. What creature could have gathered them here or just the currents? These stalks are covered in spores of all sizes. Perhaps you can sample one of the larger ones. I'm in position. You'll have to take up the sample. Open the, up the sampling unit. I have it.
We've got one. Biological samples are vital tools for analyzing and understanding creatures. But this switch should also allow you to deploy any sample back into the ocean. How about you test it out? Hold and drag it over to the center compass. Just got it. Great, that's working as it should. Look, those creatures are coming for the spores. Why are these ones in particular are in there? Perhaps different spores carry different compounds, each with a specific purpose, a message. What do you think? Could the spores be a way of communicating between different colonies? Yes, definitely. It isn't that strange, fungi and air from networks on, of exchange. Maybe these talks do the same. Anyway, sorry, I'm not sure why I... Let's keep moving. Fitting around the wave, these creatures chase stop spores with great enthusiasm. Is this their primary source of so, food source? This creature aggressively pursues certain spores but ignores others completely. Can they detect differences in mineral content? That's possible. I'm seeing spores entering ex and exiting the slits on the surface of the stalk. Something is being exchanged. The colonies seem to be broken up into individual patches and even larger groups over a wide area. Can you? A stalk spore containing a complex cocktail of mineral and compounds. Silent clearing. What is that they decrease the wave's growth pattern in sunlight, the flow of water, whatever it is, must be absent here. Fungal creature which communicates through sound and spores and interlocking ecosystem seeded across the reef. I'm uploading my initial notes, let's call these reef stalks. We can classify this this species in the lab. Smooth boulder. The huge rock sits among layer of lichen. Could it have been thrown here during a volcanic active period in the planet's history? Here, so let's go up a bit. Spore flow. Spores from the main part of the reef are brought into the surrounding nurseries here by steady current. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. I've worked with AI programs before, but you aren't like them. They are predictable, programmatic, dull. Their intelligence allows them to log and process data, that's all. But you... You are different. I feel like you are... Alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Then you are different. I'm glad I'm not just imagining it. But what are you? And what are you doing in this suit? Hmm. Northern current. The current running into the rift slows here, but further north the water rips down the rift with incredible speed. Long rift wide and long with sheer rock walls on either side with deep rift channels and predictable currents. Current flecked with spores, this water runs fast and hard. The suit can push any further north here without better proportion. Overgrown arch. This arch is covered in hiram stalks. Perhaps the slow current passing through brought their spores to settle here. Large stalk. Static creature made up of one huge flexible stalk. Unclear if rain is due to current or is produced by the stalk's own body. These huge stalks are incredible, each one a vertical ecosystem. 
While licking, spores into the water as the fruiting bodies attach to their skin bloom. Large wells. These larger stalks sway all around this basin. They almost resemble branchless trees bending in a storm. Do you see that? The stalks responded to our movement. They extended as we passed through the arch. Perhaps it was the sound we made when we moved through. We should be careful not to get trapped here. This suit's power capacity is limited. Many of these stalks are leaking particles into the water as this way. Are those spores or something else? The kitten of the stalk's membrane is very hard, but flexibility is given by a surface of over overlapping plates. There is a lot of activity among the rocks ahead. Creatures are grazing on and leaning among the stalks, forming a complex ecosystem. Look, over to the southwest. That stalk is totally calcified. Looks like a good sample candidate. Plates on the stalk's surface passing over one another must be producing the distinctive hum that can be heard. These creatures must be related to the other stalks on the reef, but seem to have a separate purpose on the lower beds. It's safe to assume that the singing of these stalks uh, relates to the communication between colonies seen elsewhere on the reef. Calcified stalk. This huge stalk is totally still. Its plates hardened into a rocky shell. Can it be revived? Or is it what death looks like here? Uh, the stalk's dead. Open up the sample panel and we can extract some of the outer membrane. There's lots of dead material here, so we should be able to make multi to take multiple samples. Do we need multiple samples? Okay, so the kitten appears to be hardened with calcium carbonate. That could be useful if we need to boost our power. The suit is able to metabolize organic compounds to produce fuel. Just drag them to the power panel. The suit displays how much oxygen or power each sample can produce. No point, no point wasting important samples. It's fuel and oxygen. With these, we can keep one sample so we can analyze it back on the base and use the other for a power boost. Large stalks which sway, producing a distance, distinctive hum or groan, part of the network of stalks of stalks which is found across the roof. I've named these stalks sing stalks, for what strange hum they produce. Going past. The space between the rocks here is thick with stalks. The elaborate patterns they trace across the reef are beautiful. I don't see what was up here. Over here. Forest path. The growth gets heavier as we travel north into the stalk forest. Something about it gi about giving it a name makes it feel safer, more familiar. Vector Shelled creature. Mobile creature with a large translucent shell and its four swimming appendages, which is it uses in a rapid rolling motion. These creatures have such beautiful translucent shells. I'll start logging data on them as we find. The relationship between these creatures and the stock is unclear, but they can flush themselves among the amber colonies. The rocks here are clear of stocks and other growths. Is their absence a territorial marker or just a side effect? of the conditions of these waters. A large cavern drops down to the reef here. Its entrance is shadowed by the surrounding rocks. A 
and before we descend into the cave I think it's a good place to end this part so for now thank you very much stay alive and see you soon bye